Mark Rogers TV, week 10 of our college football predictions. We were 17-3 and three straight up last week, 13-7 and seven against the spread last week. We had one confidence pick, and we nailed it with Stanford besting uh, Washington State. The Cardinal uh, four-and-a-half point favorite won that game 20-12. to 12. Our confidence picks this season are 14-10 and 10 against the spread. Let's start from the top with the game of the week. Florida State taking on Miami. The Knolls at home in a 21-and-a-half point favorite. Both teams at 7-0, and but the Knolls have been much more dominant. Miami slipping by some marginal teams like Georgia Tech, North Carolina, and Wake Forest. We posted a video on this previewing the Canes and the Knolls with our prediction, which was 44-23. Then we looked at the point spread at 21 and a half. Razor tight on this one. We like the Canes against the Knolls against the spread. Take Miami plus 21 and a half. But as you can see by our 44-23 score, we like Florida State big in this one. Ohio State kicking off at noon against Purdue. Uh, the Boilers took the Buckeyes to overtime last season. Actually led that game by eight with under a minute to play, taking the Buckeyes to the limit. Ohio State, a much better football team at this point this season than in 2012. A big 32-point favorite against Purdue. The Boilers are the worst team in the Big Ten, but take the 32 points in Columbus against the Buckeyes. Ohio State does win comfortably. Clemson and Virginia, the Tigers still in the top 10 despite the loss to Florida State a few weeks back. A 17-point favorite against Possibly the worst team in the ACC, Virginia, coming off that 19-16 opening win. A decent win against a pretty strong BYU team has floundered ever since at 2-6. Take the Tigers, lay the 17 against Virginia. Mizzou and Tennessee, the Tigers, despite the loss at home against South Carolina last week, still control the SEC Eastern Division, basically. Uh, they are at home against Tennessee. Tennessee uh, benched Worley at quarterback, going with a freshman Dobson. Take Tennessee plus the 11 points. Uh, Dobson played well last week in mop-up duty against Alabama. Missouri wins the football game. Tennessee plus 11. Confidence pick coming up right here. Auburn, Arkansas. Yes, the Tigers have not played the tough part of their schedule yet. That's upcoming with Georgia, Tennessee, and especially the Iron Bowl. The Tigers, though, with one loss, control the SEC Western Division. Uh, again, if they can hold serve and win the Iron Bowl in upset fashion. Arkansas is coming off the hinges right now. They had played well early in the SEC schedule against uh, most notably Texas A&M, but uh, then it started to deteriorate against Florida. The last two losses, 52-7 and 52-0 against Bama. More of the same in this one. Auburn goes to Arkansas, takes care of business. Tigers win it over Arkansas. Confidence pick Lay the seven and a half points with Auburn. Texas A&M stepping out of the SEC for non-conference play against UTEP. A big 48-point favorite. Johnny Manziel takes a breather and puts on the sun visor in the second half. Take UTEP plus the 48. Texas A&M wins big. South Carolina, Mississippi State, the Gamecocks now have life in the SEC Eastern Division with that huge win. Come back 17-0 down in the fourth quarter at Mizzou to win it. In overtime, take on Mississippi State. Take the Gamecocks minus the 12 against the Bulldogs. Northern Illinois and UMass. Take Northern Illinois to win the football game. Maintain the undefeated record. Lay the 25 and a half points there. Fresno State with a tough win at San Diego State in overtime last weekend. Uh, take on Nevada at home. Nevada a 20 and a half point underdog. Fresno State's going to win the football game. Take Nevada plus 20 and a half. Nevada playing much better football in recent weeks. UCLA and Colorado. Well, after taking on Oregon and Stanford the past two weeks, the Bruins will feel like they're playing against air this week at home against Colorado. So take the Bruins minus the 28 against Colorado. The Buffs are a little bit improved from that 2012 version, but not nearly enough to come anywhere close to UCLA. Bruins minus 28 against the Buffs. Big game in the Big Ten with Wisconsin taking on Iowa. The Hawkeyes in position to get to a bowl game, getting nine and a half at home against Wisconsin. We're confident that the Badgers will win the football game, but Iowa with a strong defensive front seven against that ground game of Wisconsin. Keep it close. Make some plays in the passing game themselves. Take Iowa plus nine and a half 
against a strong Wisconsin team, one of the top 15 or 20 teams in college football. Notre Dame and Navy take the Irish minus the 15 and a half at home against Navy. Georgia, Florida, neither team is ranked, but we've got to throw this one uh, into the picks. Georgia, Florida, a couple teams with very high hopes to start the season. Both teams decimated by injuries. Take Georgia with the veteran quarterback, Aaron Murray, at the controls against Florida in a very entertaining football game. Georgia minus two and a half against Florida. We've got uh, Oklahoma State taking on Texas Tech. The Red Raiders lost their first game of the season last week against Oklahoma. Oklahoma State lost uh, their Big 12 opener against West Virginia. A couple teams with one loss with still Big 12 title hopes in check. Oklahoma State wins this one at Texas Tech. It's a pick em game. That's all there is to it. Cowboys win over the Red Raiders in Lubbock. And finally, probably the biggest game of the week outside of Florida State and Miami. Not getting a whole lot of attention is Michigan and Michigan State. The winner of this game will control the division championship to get to the Big Ten championship in Indianapolis. Both teams come in at 7-1. and one. Michigan's loss is in conference against Penn State, considering the Wolverines will be a pretty substantial underdog in the finale against Ohio State. They cannot lose this football game and go to two losses minus the tiebreaker against Michigan State. Spartans at home, one of the best defenses in the country. Best defense statistically, consider the competition, step it back a notch, still a top five, top 10 defense at Michigan State. They're starting to find some plays in the passing game with Connor Cook. We like Michigan State to win this football game, and I know this is a razor-tight confidence pick, but we like Michigan to keep it close enough. Wolverines getting 5.5 points. Confidence pick, take Michigan plus the 5.5. But again, Michigan State goes to 8-1 and one with a victory over their uh, arch rival in-state Michigan Wolverines. So those are the picks for a Week 10. Uh, need to hear from you now. Would love to hear your picks. Throw them out there. Tell me where I'm missing it here, and we shall see on Saturday afternoon right here on Mark Rogers TV.